Faith to me used to be if I jump, he'll catch me. I've learned through trading that I was looking at it all wrong. Faith truly is if I jump and he doesn't catch me, if he lets me hit the ground, then that's exactly what I needed to be my very best person, to enjoy the greatest happiness that I could have. There's always a ceiling to break through. And every time you hit that ceiling, it starts to knock you straight back down. You have to have those exact same skill sets to learn how to pick yourself back up and learn how to fail abundantly is what I tell my students. My name is Tony Pollock. I'm an options instructor at Real Life Trading. I've been trading for seven years and I'm from Arizona. I got into trading because the lifestyle sold me. I was at a job working 50 to 80 hours a week, seven days a week. I was helping to run a family trucking company. My day started at 1 a.m. So I was the payroll guy, I was the HR, I was backup, I was backup driver, I was mechanic in some instances. We just did it all to keep things running. So by the time I was all done running parts and doing all kinds of things, it averaged from being done at about three to four o'clock in the evening all the way up to seven or eight. I always felt like I was meant for something bigger. I dabbled with the markets here and there and kind of figured out that I could click a button and make money. And I think my first trade made like $65 and I was like, I can get used to this. Like this has the potential to give me that lifestyle that I want. I felt like God was pushing me in this direction of where I should go. Felt prompted to do this and I was like, Allie, we lived in Arizona at the time, Allie's my wife. And I was like, Allie, I, I feel like we should quit this job, move back to Utah and trade full time. And Ali's like, let's do it, let's go. She's awesome like that, she's super supportive. I have $30,000 in my trading account and I'm like, in about six months, I'm gonna be a millionaire. And by the end of that week, I was down about $4,000. And that's when the real stress started to hit. We had cars, we had mortgage, we have all this stuff and we had savings set aside to pay for a couple months of bills just in case things didn't go right. But after the first week of being down uh, quite a few thousand, I was like, man, all right, I can get out of this, but reality's starting to slap me in the face. So the next week I doubled down and I ended up losing, I think I was down like 10 grand. And so by this point, the account is under the pattern day trading row. We take money out of our savings account, flood it back in to get the account back up to 30. A couple weeks in, I'm down another 10 grand, same story. It didn't go as well as we had hoped in the beginning. It was a lot of, learning and trial and error. We lost everything, basically. It was, it was a slow bleed. I just, after two months, everything we had worked for was completely gone. I went to the bank this time, um, and I was like, I need a loan. That held us over for about another three or four weeks until I lost it again. I'm laying down on my back like I'm in debt now. I've lost everything I have. I don't know what to do. I guess I have to go back to driving a truck. That's when I reach out to Jeremy Newsom. I go, Jeremy, it's the same story he must hear every single day. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing. I think I did, but I didn't. I was like, I don't have anything to give you. And he's like, Tony, buy an RLT t-shirt and I will give you 30 minutes of my time. And I was like, who, this guy is amazing. He points out a few things that I'm doing wrong just within that 30 minutes and it completely changed things for that. I got to a point where I was stopped. I didn't lose as much. And of course, a 30 minute session is not gonna fix everything, but it really did get me on the right path and it opened my eyes to how much I needed to learn skills of trading. Went back to the bank. They gave me one last thing. They're like, dude, this is it. Like, I don't know what you're doing, but go get a job. Cause they gave me two credit cards. Continue to invest some of that in with Jeremy and, and learning a little bit more. So it was about $15,000 total for these credit cards. And I went and cashed those cards out. And that lasted me another three to four weeks until I lost all of that. So I start working with Jeremy a little bit more. He's like, Tony, you gotta find a way to be more consistent. What can you do? I'm like, I've traded credit spreads before. And he's like, you should look into that. Problem with credit spreads, they, they pay me like $500 a month with the account size I had. I was like, how can I make 1,500 a week? And so I started getting creative and worked at it and built a strategy around credit spreads that started to pay me $1,500 a week with a $15,000 trading account. Those credit spreads paid our bills every single month for months on end. It was the biggest blessing that you could imagine, but it wasn't easy still. Um, I still blew up another account because I was still making mistakes with credit spreads. 
again, it was that same scenario. It felt like every two months I'm laying on my back again in bed going, this is it. So we were at Walmart. We just were getting a bunch of stuff. I remember I was gonna decorate his office. I'm like, okay, let's maybe change the vibe in here and get it a little bit more happier so we can maybe start moving things forward. And we were like halfway done and we're like, okay, well, let's just check if we can get some of these groceries on some of these decorating things. And we look on our account and there's nothing, there's zero. And we're just like, okay, well, I guess that's not gonna happen. So we'll just put everything back and keep trying. I mean, it was really hard. I just laid there like tears in my eyes and that little voice in my head just kept saying, get up and go find a way. And I would get up and I swear within 20 minutes, every single time I had a solution. Went out and I actually went to a different bank, got another loan and I put it on a credit spread and I lost it all the very next day. And that was probably my lowest point, cause especially because now I, I knew how to make money. And my thoughts were, if I could just get more money in my trading account, I could actually, you know, I could make $3,000 a week and not just $1,000 a week or $2,000 a week. And I lost it all trying some random Hail Mary one random time. I realized that failure is the path to success. That entire time, I felt like a loser every single second because every month and a half, I'm back to begging someone for money. But really it was each and every one of those moments that defined who I was. I was getting back up when I could have just given up. And I think 95% of the world that tries trading, they're the ones that don't get back up when they get it. When they get slapped in the face and they're laying on their back saying this is it, they don't listen to that voice telling them to get back up. They just stay down and they give up and then they make excuses because clearly it's not them. It's just, well, the markets are rigged or the markets are hard or if I had more money or if I just did, you know, whatever the case might be, it's always some excuse when really the answer is back at them, right? The answer is don't give up. And slowly but surely my losses got less and less and less and less to a point where I'd make a mistake and I wasn't losing an account. It's going to be hard. And by the way, it never stops being hard. Learn how to fail abundantly. Meaning the knowledge gained from the money loss is more valuable than the money being lost. And I was more excited and confident myself after blowing up an account than I ever was before I blew it up. And it proved true, I kept climbing the ranks and that's the only reason I never got knocked out. Once I had a strategy and became really good at it and got really successful at following it and understood just how the game was played, my emotions couldn't play those things against me anymore, we finally started getting ahead. We finally started having some consistency in our income coming in, we, our bills were being paid, we're getting out of debt, finally closing out those credit cards was like the greatest feeling in the world. Now I'm coaching people how to do it. I'm getting the satisfaction of just watching someone in that place that I was in and helping them, giving them the advice that I didn't necessarily have when I was there and me figuring it out. Now I can turn around and help someone that's down in there and pull them out and lift them up higher. It's gonna push you farther than you could ever imagine, but you can do it. And how do I know that? It's because I did it. I find joy in making time for my health. I find joy in spending time with family. I enjoy quality time with my wife. Just being able to wake up in the morning with her is a luxury that I haven't had my entire marriage. When I was driving a truck, all I wanted to do was go golfing with my buddies. I get to go golfing whenever I want. I go golfing multiple times a week. In fact, it's a failure for me in my week if I don't go golfing a couple times because it's like live the life you always dreamed, right? I have the ability to do it now and now it's just a simple matter of me getting out and doing it. Man, real life trading has completely opened the doors on the abundant lifestyle. I went into real life trading expecting to learn how to trade and it really did open my eyes on how to live life to the fullest. And I was not on my mind at all. I was teach me how to trade, but it did so much more than that. It taught me how to think more abundantly. We go on trips now with real life trading to learn how money can grow on trees. My mindset shifted from money is so hard to get to money is so easy to receive. I feel like we were given just a second chance at life and to just know to not give up on your dreams because they are worth fighting for and that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. If you just keep doing what you're doing and just keep pushing and keep learning and keep growing and keep trying, there's always a rainbow at the other side. It may take eight years or 10 years or however many, however long, but it will happen. I'm here to tell you without the support of the real life trading community, I would not be here today. We try to offer support and interaction on every facet. So we have a Slack group um, filled with tons of different channels for all your different interests. 
um, whether you're day trading and swing trading and options and all this good stuff, you get to trade live with the moderators, with the instructors. You get to watch their screens, see their trade setups, let them talk you through what they're looking for, why they took this trade, why they didn't take that trade. Um, you get to watch them lose. For the first time in my life, I saw someone lose money. Uh, I feel like everyone around you just hides the bad and only shows the good. With real life trading, they're authentic, they're real. And that really, that stood out to me so much. Most other places was just like, here, pay me money so I can make you money. These guys were like, here's all the education for free. I'm gonna teach you how to do this. And I want you to change your life. And if you wanna come back and learn more, then cool, you can. For the people that are in the grind right now, don't quit. You're always gonna look back on this moment you're in right now and think, man, what if I would've quit? You're a foot away from living your dream. You can click a button, buy your time back, make more money than you did at a normal job, and go pursue your passions. And Real Life Trading's here to help you do that.